Adam from the Digital Gojo Showroom. Today we're gonna to be going over the three different size softbox diffusers from Altura Photo that are available for your shoe mount flash. So if you're shooting with a shoe mount style flash, like the one I have here, the 430EX2 from Canon, it's a directional flash, creates a harsh and unflattering light source. So Altura Photo has introduced three different size light modifiers to help modify, control, and shape the light that is emitted from your shoe mount flash, improving the quality of your portraits and other photographic styles. We have a six by five, seven by nine, and 13 by eight. So what's great about these Altura Photo softbox diffusers is that they're very easy to install and we're gonna mount it to the flash head. If we look, we're just gonna slide this right over the flash head like this. And then we're gonna take this elastic band and just tighten it down so that the Velcro attaches to the side. And there you go. Let's take a closer look at the features of the Altura Photo Universal Softbox. They're gonna all feature double stitching that's gonna hold the panel to the frame. It's a very durable uh, softbox that's gonna last you a while. And so if we take a closer look at the flaps, you're gonna notice that each flap is gonna have rubber strips. This is gonna keep the softbox from slipping uh, from the flash head. And if you take a look at this, this is the elastic band that's gonna secure the softbox to your flash head. This is what's gonna be used to keep the softbox attached to your flash head. Now, if we take a closer look in the inside, you're gonna notice that there's a, a highly reflective silver interior. This silver lining is gonna make sure to maximize the flash output. Next feature that we're gonna see is that this softbox will feature a secondary diffusion. This will make sure that you're not gonna get those harsh or bright highlights on people's faces or objects. So another great feature of this softbox diffuser is the fact that it folds up. It comes provided with a case. And this just makes it easy uh, to carry it along with you wherever you go. And there you have it. That's the Altura Photo softbox diffuser that's universal and fits standard shoe mount flashes. So welcome to the Digital Gojo Showroom Studio. Uh, we're gonna be testing out the Altura Photo softbox diffusers. Uh, so we're gonna start off taking photos of Izzy with the camera set in the portrait mode. Uh, and we're gonna take it without any diffusion on the, on the camera so you can see how the image looks. All right. So we notice that the shadows fall to the side because I have the camera in portrait mode and there is a distinct shadow that the flash makes because it's a direct flash. So now we're gonna take the six by five diffuser. We're, we're not gonna attach the internal diffuser on there yet. All right, Izzy, give me a smile. All right, we're gonna take a look at it and evaluate it. Remember, if you're shooting an ETTL, you can always at, increase or decrease your flash output. So we're gonna take this off. Now we're gonna take out the internal diffuser and we're gonna add that to the flash. Now I'm gonna go into the exposure value and I'm gonna increase it two stops, All right? We're gonna take a photo, ready? And there you go. I increased it two stops because that's about approximately how much light is lost when the second diffusion panel is added. So now we're gonna take the nine by seven softbox diffuser. We're again, gonna start with just the front panel diffusion. We're gonna add this onto the flash. And let me tighten it down. I'm gonna change my exposure again to zero because I don't have the secondary diffusion on that. And Izzy, give me that smile once more. Okay. Now we're gonna take, and we're gonna add the diffusion, the secondary diffusion, and we'll take another example image. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add about two stops to my exposure compensation for a flash. And we're gonna go ahead and take another picture. Give me one of those big, huge smiles you got there. All right. Okay, now let's take a look at the 13 by eight 
softbox diffuser. So again, we're going to start off the first shot. We're going to take it without the internal diffusion. Notice how much larger area this softbox diffuser is. It's going to spread the light out more and it's going to illuminate more of uh, my subject matter. We're going to go back and change this to zero and we're going to take a photo. So Izzy, I'm going to need you to give me one of those smiles again. All right. And we're going to take another shot by adding one stop. All right, so this again is still without the secondary diffusion. All right. Now we're going to add the secondary diffuser to this to see how it looks. Ready? Give me one of those smiles and don't forget again, remember if you're increasing the amount of diffusion, you're going to most likely have to increase the exposure compensation on your flash. So we're going to add again, go to plus two. And we're going to take another photo. And there you go. All right, so we're going to show you all the different photos that we've taken. Hopefully this helps you out. Thank you for tuning in. This is Adam from Digital Go to Showrooms. If this video helped you out, hit that like button underneath and subscribe to our channel for future updates, first looks, overviews, unboxings, and more. Uh, remember, if you're in the Miami area, check us out in the Miami showrooms. Until next time.